Hi everyone, it's Paula Tim and Messiah. So today we're doing a very, very special video, a do-it-yourself video. This is Banjo and Tallulah, which I'm sure you've already met. They have been trashing my house. We didn't want to put them in the crates um, when we're gone, but unfortunately we have to. So this is what we're going to do. We are going to take these crates and build a TV stand, like a country style, farm style TV stand because this is our first home and starting over, it's hard. So we're going to do with what we have and do this ourselves instead of paying $800 for one or I think they're like 2000 on Etsy sometimes. Too expensive for us. Banjo's sleeping. He's tired. He just came back inside. And bought All right, well, I'm about to go. Uh, I bought a piece of birch. It was a piece of plywood uh, four by eight and um, obviously the two cages together is 36 inches times two is six foot and one half inch. So we're cutting it at 74 inches so it'll have an overhang on each end and we cut it at 22 and a half inches in the middle. We ripped it so it'll have an overhang on each side and uh, I'm about to cut the end off of it now and then we're going to cut our other sideboards and build our frame. So you're looking at my dog crate uh, that I built. The wood alone was $116. And then each dog crate, which is two large dog crates from Walmart, uh, they're $36 a piece. So you're looking at probably $190 worth of total so far. And uh, they charge $500 to $1,000 for these on the internet. Uh, I used uh, birch plywood with uh, uh, um, regular birch uh, one one by fours and uh, I ripped the one by fours in half and made these pieces on the front and the on the, all, the, all the front sides and then ripped just a small piece for the sides and bottom of the frame if you look around the bottom of the frame because we had to make the top and then this is our drop piece off the bottom this is all we ripped off the because we had to do this so the door would open put that so we just used the big piece on bottom the drop piece on the top all the way around for like a border and then uh, put one in the middle here too it's all made together we have to carry it from the bottom I'm gonna get some leg. I'm gonna go to Home Depot and get some real nice legs for it and uh, I think that it will be badass so yeah. I'm gonna paint it white and then stain the top brown paint this border probably white I might I don't know might do something make the border better or something I don't know I thought I'd have more of an overhang that way and the reason the cages are dirty is our dogs have been rolling around in mud at the moment and I had to bring it outside to build it so yeah so let me see them. so I'm gonna show you around the whole thing this is the front and like I said this little piece here was a drop piece from this board I cut it with my table saw so it would have like a border on the top and bottom. Doors are functional, perfect. I'll get in and out, bam, bam, on both of them. And I used finishing nails. So you can, I mean, you can see the hole, but you have to be like up on it. And once we stain it and paint it, I mean, it'd be really eye distance. So there you have it. Pretty ordinary, but it's, uh, it's fashionable and it'll look good in the house. All right. Later. Okay guys, so we are finally finished and this is my farmhouse dog crate that my husband built 
the doors open in the front. They also open in the side. These are large dog crates. And now I have room in my living room, which we are still remodeling. Oh, my turn? <laughs> That's my cue, I guess. Okay, so we used birch for the front uh, railing and these things here, all the border, really, pretty much the border. And then um, for the top, I used birch plywood. And then for the bottom, I used birch plywood. It was a four by eight piece. I ripped it in half. Then I cut the bottom one at six foot and left the top one at eight foot. So we would have the overhang on the sides like that. So it would be a big, bigger table than it was a cage. Um, so yeah, just on the bottom, what's holding the pans is another piece of birch plywood, the other half of that top board. And then these little pieces right here, this little piece here mm -hmm. is the drop piece off of these mm -hmm. to match that. So the cost of materials to build was two hundred and twenty eight dollars that's including the cages the cages so uh these go for thirteen hundred dollars sometimes but we had the paint and stain at home too yes um but the wood and the cages was two hundred and twenty eight dollars we had the wood and the paint at the house we didn't have to buy anything else but the wood and the cages the only downfall is the um the pans don't slide out that kind of stuff yeah there. Because I used finishing nails instead of screws. Because um, the pans usually slide out on these cages. But, I mean, all you got to do, really, our dogs are potty trained. They just pretty much sleep in them. We can wipe them out, vacuum it. It's it's not a big deal. Absolutely. It's fun for me. So, if you guys have any questions, let us know. In the comment section below, like and subscribe, share, tell a friend to tell a friend. We got more content coming. Yes including live footage of my husband doing